Hello. On this video, we will be solving a linear programming problem. We will be minimizing x plus 2y. So we have two variables. And we have three constraints. 2x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 80. x is greater than or equal to 20. 2.5x two plus y is greater than or equal to 50. So the first thing we need to do is find the endpoints uh, for the constraints that we're going to draw lines to represent each constraint. Oh, and then we have non-negativity x and y greater than or equal to zero. So to find the endpoints, we in each uh, constraint, we put in a zero for x. So we have 2y is greater than or equal to 80. So that would mean y would need to be 40. And then if we put a zero in for y, we have 2x is equal to 80. So x would have to be 40 to make that be true. Then the next constraint is really pretty easy. X is always equal to 20. On our next constraint, we put in zero for X and we just get that Y is equal to 50. So that was easy. And then if we put in a zero for Y, we have two and a half X equals 50. So divide both sides by two and a half and we get that X equals 20. Okay, we've got the endpoints found. Now let's let's graph this. So um, on my x values, I've got a sorry, on my y values, I've got a forty and a fifty. So the biggest thing I need to graph is a fifty. So I'm gonna put that up there, and this will be in that'll be zero, one, two, three, four, five. So. Oh, wait, that didn't work out. Rats. It's supposed to work out all evenly. So much for planning ahead. So we'll make this 50, and 25 will be there. And on our x values, we have a 40 and a 20. So we'll call that 40, and we'll put 20 in the middle there. OK. Let's see here. Our first constraint, 2x plus 2y greater than or equal to 80. Let's make that blue. We go from 0, 40. So this is 50. We have 25, 30, 35. Ah, shoot, that didn't work. Oh, 50 is a point. Oh, we'll call that 50. Still didn't work out. Uh, we'll call that 40. And um, uh, so that's 40. So we're 0, 40, and then 40, 0. So we're down over there. And um, have a line like that. And then I'm going to highlight that blue. And there's our first constraint. Next constraint says, X is always equal to 20. So uh, this is my X axis here. And X is equal to 20. So no matter what Y is, X is just always equal to 20. So we're going to have a perfectly vertical line right there. And uh, let's call that one uh, purple. Okay, and then our last one is 2x plus 5 greater than or equal to 50. So we have 0, 50, which is up here, and then 20, 0, which is down there. So we need to connect those with a straight line. We'll go for this. Huh, that's pretty much pink. I come down here like that. Okay, and then we do have the non-negativity constraints and X cannot be negative. So as X gets smaller, 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 we can't go on that side of the vertical axis. So our vertical axis is one constraint. Similarly, our horizontal axis is the other constraint that prevents Y from going negative. We have to be mindful of the direction of these constraints and they are all greater than or equal to. 
That means we have to be on the blue line or above it, on the pink line or above it, and on the purple line or above it. And that leaves us with, and then we have also our uh, horizontal constraint, which I'm just going to draw it in here to make sure we stay aware of it. We have to be above the green line also. So that means our feasible region is this area to the right of the purple and above the blue and above the green. So that area I colored in yellow there is our feasible region. And our optimal answer has to be at one of the corner points. And the only corner points on our feasible region are this spot right here and that spot right there. So we need to solve for those. And lucky for us, this is not gonna be very hard because this point right here is one of the endpoints of our blue line. And so this is the point where X equals 40 and Y equals zero. So that's the point 40, zero. And then this point right here is where the purple and the blue intersect. And the blue says 2X plus 2Y equals 80. When we're on the constraint, it's an equality. Um, and where the, the blue and the purple, and the purple just says X equals 20. So obviously this is really easy. So we just stick a 20 in for X and we have two times 20 plus two Y equals 80. So two times 20 is obviously 40, subtract 40 off both sides. And we have two Y equals 40, divide both sides by two and we have y equals 20. So x equals 20, y equals 20. So that is the location of that point right there, 20, 20. Um, and then the last thing is to figure out how much profit we would make at those two points. So let's make a little list here. So the points we're going to look at will be 40 comma zero and 20, 20. Now, before we um, evaluate the objective function at these points, let's just stop and look a minute at our objective function, x plus 2y. So y is twice as expensive as x. And we are trying to minimize our costs here. So because y is twice as expensive as x, I'm thinking we probably will end up with an answer here where we don't have a lot of y. It's just a kind of a thing to keep in mind. And our objective function again is x plus 2y. That's our, our cost function. So we have x is 40 plus 2 times 0. Obviously, costs there are 40. And then we have x is, oh, sorry, you can't see this. Uh, we had 40 plus 2 times 0. Obviously, the costs there are 40. And then we have x is 20 plus 2 times y, and y is 20. So we have 20 plus 40. We have 60. We are trying to minimize costs here. So the optimal thing is the cost of 40, and the cost of 40 comes at the point 40, 0. So the optimal um, decision, optimal point, whatever you want to call it, is right here where x equals 40, y equals zero. And our objective function, which in this case are costs, our costs are $40. So to recap, we have our linear program and we found the endpoints of each of the constraints. And once we'd found the endpoints, then we graphed them all here on our uh, x and y axis. And we color coded them just to keep them all straight. You don't really have to do that, but I think it's helpful for you when you're watching. And we found the feasible region and we found the intersections, the corner points of the, of the feasible region. And then we solved mathematically to find the locations of these points. One of them we already knew, so that was easy. And then we uh, evaluated our objective function 
at those two points. And because we are minimizing, we chose the point that has the lowest total cost. So I hope this has been helpful.